Say, kids, what time is it? It's kind of like watching TV, but, you know, in your car. 104.7 The Cave, Mike the Intern, Jay Stevens. It's our side of the stream. We got it right. Episode 157 this week was my pick, the new docuseries on Netflix, produced by Steven Spielberg. It's called Encounters, and it is incredible. I didn't know it was produced by Spielberg. Yeah, I missed was, that part. Yeah, wow, executive producer man. put the money behind it. Either way, uh, just to note, when he was putting out Close Encounters of the Third Kind back in the late 70s, the United States government sent him a 20-plus page letter telling him why he shouldn't re- release the film because it would be dangerous. Now, why, yeah. Jay, would the, why in the hell would the United States government this, be so concerned about a fictional movie this. Why, man, this is all and a twenty-five page then. paper to to boot on that. It was back for years and years and years. All this. Uh, I'm so glad that's dude. what we're talking about in this week's episode of Dark Side of the Stream. Um, I, you know, synopsis. This is about people that have had UFO encounters and those that have been in the. It, it's actually two things at once, which I thought was brilliant. It basically tells four separate stories of mass encounters. Like yeah, yeah, it wasn't yeah. like one guy. Just one dude, no. It was hundreds in most towns, yeah, yeah, 60 kids or whatever it was. Cities, right. And we'll go through that. But then at the same time, they also have someone that's in the, involved in government kind of telling their version of what is going on and how we're seeing kind of disclosure happen in front of us or maybe not or what the government's covering seeing up slowly, or what these yeah, guys are seeing, seeing or whatever it is so i thought that was a brilliant director call to kind of have those two things going on at the same time it was brilliant first story talks about the texas sighting in the early 2000s and it was cited by over 300 people pretty famous pretty famous one. um yeah and this place where it's of note is because where this sighting happened is the milk producing capital of the world or is it just the country either way they make more milk than anybody else in this place and as the japanese reporter said they like the milk <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what the hell that means and that, that's what he said that's how this all came about he says their their japanese press was there when this thing blew up and one of the japanese guys said uh why did they come to this area? And he goes, well, we have. All oh, the aliens goes, like the milk. They like the milk. <laughs> well, and he's like, whoa. Okay. The thing about this story, which was just, it blew me away was, yeah, you had a bunch of eyewitnesses talk about seeing this massive in uh, a situation where they saw basically uh, a ship and then two F-15 jets fly right after which it. they said no there at was first, no, the, no yeah. f-15 at first, flying the, in that uh, area. the government's like we didn't have anybody there and then they changed it and said actually because we these were. dudes got the satellite data and it showed them on there man this is the only time Crazy. that because of a freedom of information act someone outside of the government has been able to access radar information of what actually happened during this window of time where people saw they saw something see it all and right there on the radar you see it go across and then you see it go up and then you see two f-15s go right after all of which the government said didn't happen well then all of a sudden they said no we we were actually doing training exercises out there and also since then they have yet to release a freedom information act about radar since then this was in like 06 so almost 20 years really so got, yeah they, that I was the last that time they that. did that for good reason because what what happened in alaska why can't we see what happened on radar there we don't have it, show it now. we're not going to oh, show it doesn't it makes with our our uh our, our national defense whatever the case may be this was the last time they allowed it and the second thing about this was the two witnesses i thought were the strongest in the entire series were obviously the constable who yeah. he 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 gets elected right so for him to come out and say hey i, I definitely yeah, he's saw like, guys i can't he, this, he didn't yeah. want to do it took a little pushing it, it took a, a lot of pushing from a guy that was essentially in the area who said that he was a huge business owner yeah he had a wife and kids extremely successful had planes guys cars, gonna just make everything stuff up, in, man, everything you know? in, in everything in life going for this dude he has this experience and then it just completely ruined him because yeah. he cannot let go of the fact that he needs to know what the hell happened. It's ruined his marriage, yeah. almost lost his business. So all these people that are deniers or whatever, I totally get trying to get to the bottom and you want the evidence. But in this case, you got two guys that have everything to lose and nothing to gain by coming yeah. out and saying they had this experience and then to literally die on that sword every single day. It's just mind blowing. Hardcore, man. That was just episode one. Yeah, We're yeah. going to talk about episode two and three next. Dark Side of the Stream returns on 104.7 The Cave. Mike, the intern, Jay Stevens, back in the studio. This is Dark Side of the Stream, episode 157, discussing encounters on Netflix, which you should definitely watch. 
The second of the stories uh, involves the school children in Zimbabwe. This story was also in the phenomenon. Very crazy story. Yeah. yeah. This one gets brought up a lot because of the amount of people that actually like witnessed 60 it. 60 people or 60 kids or something. Like On top of the fact that it also had some very credible stuff, but every single witness thing is the same. Every description yeah. that they had was the same. Every It wasn't like a bunch of kids that just made this up. Now, yeah. they did have one guy that came out and was but like you got one against 60 but he said saying? we made it all up we made it all up now i want to bring this up because they don't talk about this in the documentary but i did some investigation Ooh. that guy actually said a couple of years before this documentary that he saw it all yeah the exact somebody same paid way. him probably to start saying the other you know okay somebody paid him to start saying that he didn't see it i think you know but like the reporter said if you have a case like he he he, he presses priests in the catholic church for uh, like molestation cases he takes on he says if you have two three witnesses that's good enough for the court here they have 60 witnesses and yeah. how is that not good enough and anybody? again they they brought that denier in i guess just to kind of play yeah, it open it feel, field felt like he got paid man. but he again if you go look at some of the interviews he's given in the past he's given so his credibility Shot. is completely gone Shot. and uh, again you go back to what do these kids have to gain what are yeah. they game by saying this stuff? Nothing. Absolutely Especially young kids, nothing. You know? yeah. So they that, saw the aliens. The aliens came out of the ship and they drew them. And, and gave them the message them. Yeah, basically message, saying right. that we're screwing up the world. Like a message hey, in their head. It was just like. Yeah, they all pathic. heard it. And again, you Woo, go by man, what they say. Crazy. That one was a crazy one. Uh, number three was the UK. Yes. One that happened uh, basically in Wales. Um, and that one was also very interesting because they have, and that was another thing, especially about that one, where they start to creep in folklore, religion, fairies. myths, how this stuff, because they start talking about like fairies and, and things that exist in that culture and how they, you know, it could be good, could be bad. We're not talking about the fairies that Tinkerbell fairies that Disney has created. We're talking about creatures. the actual creatures that these people believed in. And again, maybe, maybe they maybe. were aliens maybe. this whole time. Maybe. I don't know, but uh, that wasn't the only one. There was still one more episode we need to dive into on this encounters dark side of the stream. We'll get to that next on 104.7 The Cave. Mike, the intern, Jay Stevens, back in the studio. It is dark side of the stream, episode 151, discussing encounters oh. on Netflix. And Ollie has joined us for this uh, part of the story. Ollie so, is our um, alien consultant. We talked about Texas, we talked about UK, we talked about Zimbabwe, and now we're going to talk about the last one, which Japan, was right? lights over Fukushima, which was um, the uh, site power of plant. the not only tsunami, but then, of course, the failure at the nuclear power plant. They they had some really good vid video evidence in this one. Yeah, um, those and, lights that and you can see them merging together, moving together, doing this all kinds of stuff. Over nuclear installations, all man, you know? the time. And yeah. we told that story about the one where the guy was talking about how they all shut off at once. Yeah, they went through all those again. It's all in phenomenon um, too. Yeah. It was kind of one of those examples of how, like these two, like the encounter story, and then what's happening in the government story is also kind of they they piggyback on each other, and it's. It was very, very interesting to not only hear the story from some of the people that experienced it in Japan, but also from the monk, right? Yeah. Because he his perspective is that of a religious standpoint, but he still to this day, I mean, because some of the people believe those were souls leaving. Right. Uh, which, 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 which they talked about in that Unsolved Mysteries thing we watched, too, mm -hmm. the, with the tsunami and the ghosts. Yeah, that also <clears> could, <throat> again, we have no idea. Like there are so many things that are floating to the surface now with all this UFO stuff crazy, is man. like, well, stuff, what is, maybe it has to do with the afterlife or maybe the, you know, there's so many things that could maybe be it's what it future, is. I know. Yeah. It could be that it could be us it could be some sort of line of evolution that they went into the water and they're more advanced than us crazy, and they're down yeah. there and we're just idiots up above time. will it, tell. It doesn't, we don't know. Point is, when you have things like this and you have the people and the level of people that they keep bringing in time and time again, it's not just the crazy hair dude from Ancient Aliens anymore. Yep. It's guys like us. 
even yeah. though we might be on the line, it's like, hey, it's senators, what, it's, it's what congressmen. You, yes. What do we have to gain from that? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, something's going on, and man. So something is definitely going on. We'll give this documentary our views next. Dark Side of the Stream on 104.7 The Cave. Mike the Intern, Jay Stevens back <laughs> in the studio one more time. Episode 157, Dark Side of the Stream. We discussed encounters on Netflix. I give this a solid four, my guy. I'll go three and a half. Solid four. Yeah, three and a half, you know. I mean, I, I at the end of the day, I, I, they didn't reinvent the wheel. Almost all of these encounters it's I've heard about. It's always interesting to hear these things. It's just, you're just selling it more and selling pieces. it and selling yeah. it. Get more, more people pieces. on this train to start asking your senators and oh, lawmakers Lord. to get this stuff out. Come on, man. If the government's spending money on this well, stuff, then, we yeah, need to know what the hell is going on. We pay for the government. They're working on it. They're working on it. We'll see what happens. You got other things, too, going on. Yeah, a lot. But again, <laughs> I, 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 dude. Come on, let's figure this stuff out. Um, and the one thing that I also wanted to bring up, which I, I think now after seeing these guys, especially the dude from Texas, is like for my whole life, I've always wanted to have some sort of encounter, like see it, maybe not being abducted. I don't think I want to live through that. But probing? like, yeah, probing? I don't want, want I, don't, I get enough probing from Jay around here. I was going to say, I got you. suit. Jay does all the probing Spirit we need. Spirit Halloween's That's open. probably why we haven't had the encounter. It's like, oh, that guy's got it. Um, so I, I, but after watching what these people went through, I don't know if I want it. You know what I mean? It's kind of like ignorance is bliss, you know, and, and they have to live with that and they have to carry it with them. And I don't want to do that. So well, I'm kind of walking that up. back yeah, now. I hope you don't get sucked in. You know, yeah. You know what I mean? Deep. Like I just, cause you could tell, especially with that old man from Texas, when oh, I was watching man. that, I was like, dude, this is run his life ever. And we're talking about a guy who built planes himself Dude, he like, plane he's like the coolest him. guy in the world plane to go chase him. yeah they were like they were like <laughs> trying go. to figure out where the things were and they're wow. on their own wow. that guy he man he it rocked him so if it can rock a guy like that it definitely can rock a guy like me yeah. so i I don't know if I want that rugged um, cowboy like that. Man. Yeah, dude. And those Texas guys, they don't mess around. I, I, again, I don't know if I want it now. I mean, it'd be one thing to kind of see it fly in the sky and be like, what was that? But completely different to All be right. no in more. that experience. Mike doesn't want no more encounters. No more encounters for me. Jay, it's your pick next week. What are we watching? Well, I kind of stayed away from this one while it was happening just because I was like, I do not care about this. But since they made a documentary about it, I thought, well, I'll watch it because Lord knows I've had my share of crazy women and crazy relationships. So uh, Depp versus Heard. Oh God, you Johnny Depp watch that crap? versus Amber Heard. Okay. So we could talk about her doing a doing a bump of coke well, live on national television they, in a court. They both. <laughs> All right, let's go. They both. Uh, that's a that's a great example of a toxic relationship. Hell no matter yes. how much money you have, you can still get sucked into a toxic and, relationship. And really, what it comes down to is how good your lawyer is. Either way, that's what we'll discuss. Uh, Heard versus Depp. You can watch Dark Side of the Stream live on Facebook or YouTube every Thursday at 9 a.m. Download it as a podcast for free on our 104.7 The Cave app or listen it, listen to it during my show at 9 a.m. or Jay's show at 6 p.m. I am Mike the Intern. This is Jay Stevens and Ollie somewhere reminding Sorry. you. We watch we documentaries. Watch so you don't, so have, don't have, to. have to. It's Dark Side of the Stream on 104.7. We get probes, so you don't have to.